Big up yourself. Thank you so much for tuning in and clicking on this video. It's the latest trend with your girl, Biami. Go ahead, JR. Hey, Kev, I got a, I got a question before you hopped on. We were talking about the woman's tongue. An example that I used was my sister just having no respect for the man. And I and I talked about how men do not have to give respect in order to receive respect, that men should just give respect off GP. Um, and I was just kind of just alone because like my sister felt the need that she not only tried to disrespect me, but when my grandfather was in the house and said he didn't want no yelling in the house, she just totally disregarded him. Mm -hmm. And my concern is that even in marriages, um, the relationships, and just even as strangers, that women feel that it's okay to disrespect a man. Can you speak on that? Yeah, I'm, I'm using it a couple of ways and tied into something I heard earlier. If we can't hold anybody accountable, that we are directly tied to, we can't have a community. That that's a that's a I you used to get a whooping by Mr. Brown if Mr. Brown saw you doing something wrong because you were accountable to the community, not just your mama and daddy. When you leave that sitting right there. The women don't today don't fear what Sean Connery told Barbara Walters. There are times when the best course of action is to slap a woman. That's what Sean Connery said. There's, it's still on YouTube right now. Go look at it. And Barbara Walters was like, <laughs> thought he was going to recant his statement. And he, <laughs> down. and he said, let me explain what I mean. He's like, women have a way of not knowing how to let things go. You can give up the argument. You can let, you can let it go. They can know they've won. There's nothing else to be gained. And they will continue to push and push and push. And he said, at that point, once you've exhausted all other options, then a slap becomes a good option. <laughs> and you only have to do it once. Shaharazad Ali tried to say that stuff and it set the black community on fire. Why is this? Because... Between the men on this platform right now, if we were in public, we have to moderate what we say, whether we know each other or not, because there's a low-level threat of violence and aggression between all men. Fuck YouTube, fuck the Greece, fuck money. You cross a certain line with a man, we're going to have to shoot the fair one. We know that. You can be in a wheelchair. You can be on a crutch. You can, whatever you can be special. You gon you got to do that. But see, there is no low level threat of violence between women and men today. Women are allowed to be verbally disrespectful beyond the point of reason because there's no consequence because they don't fear the repercussion. So listening to that, and this this is why um, y'all heard that shit. These niggas was on a live stream back in the day. I have so many. Okay, so that was one of the lives that was posted on this space, this Twitter space that I was on. Guys, I was on this space for like over two hours. Um, it was obviously interesting, hence why I was on there, because I wanted to hear what um people had to say about the alleged passing of Kevin Samuels and um yeah, people's thoughts. It was a really, really interesting space and um this was used as a prime example as to why people are celebrating mainly black women celebrating the the alleged death of kevin samuels i'm gonna be honest like i'm in two minds about this um what i want to say i will refrain from saying because i feel like there is a time and a space for everything there's a time to address 
the responsibility of black women and there's a time to address the responsibility of black men i don't like it when we're trying to address a certain situation for example on this space a lot of black women were expressing the fact that a lot of the content that kevin samuels put out was very damaging to black women in particular it really fueled a lot of misogyny and even domestic abuse as you guys heard in that clip that i first of all put out like you know speaking to a guy who is asking you you know how should like men should be respected regardless like how should we basically teach women and he's basically saying well sometimes a woman's got a feel you know like whatever he said i just paraphrase but whatever you guys heard like just saying things like that and i think in those type of spaces women should be able to say what they have to say without somebody coming in and being like okay but what did you do because i feel like it's a massive problem when we want to address certain things within the culture or within the black community it's always if i want to stand and i want to be like you know what the way that men handle certain situations the men that the way men get angry the the way men get aggressive in handling things or um there's always going to be someone who's going to say yeah but why did he become aggressive what did you do to for him to become aggressive and then we do this finger pointing thing that we do or we deflate and then we start talking about the system or the systematic racism the systematic oppression and so forth and so on one of the things that i learned from watching or listening to that space was it's time that we stop blaming the system it's stop it's time that we stop blaming white supremacy and it's time that we actually look at each other eyeball to eyeball and actually deal with what is going on within the black community because if the systemic control was broken down there would still be an issue within our own culture but um i i digress that's a deeper conversation but i just wanted to quickly share this video with you guys i want to ask is there any way possible that this is not true no i have have family confirmation okay i got family confirmation this is a hundred percent um we, the funeral most likely is going to be in oklahoma city i got family confirmation okay. so this is the alleged family friend quote unquote who confirmed the death of kevin samuels i don't know about you but if you are a family friend and you are confirming the death which ha- by the way apparently happened uh, in this early hours and allegedly a woman met kevin and spent the night with him she id'd him as kevin samuels um he complained of chest pain he fell on top of her she called 911 officials performed cpr and he was unresponsive okay that's the the word on the street that's the uh, the allegedly what happened not confirmed information so this is what is currently going around but how first and foremost is a funeral planned already please when you've only just found out that the guy is dead allegedly and secondly like how are you just so calm and collected i don't personally believe that this is true i don't know what stunt or what is going on in this world this world is just crazy regardless of whether it's true or not true like there's just this video is just weird okay it's weird you don't come on and confirm that somebody a family friend meaning that you obviously coincide with him meaning that okay not necessarily coincide but this is somebody that is is dead like you know personally and obviously you like you're cool with the person because you're a family friend so how is it that you're just sitting there no tears or nothing not like you're it's not even like there's nothing in your face nothing in your eyes that even suggests that you have been crying that you are upset you are deeply upset you're not even saying like you know the family are deeply hurt or deeply upset about this matter you know they will confirm in due time just give them their space their peace or whatever no nothing like that you're just coming on and just being like yep yeah it's confirmed and the funeral babe how are you planning a funeral so quick that's not how it works okay let's not try and fool people here but what it has done is that he has made a lot of women to speak out and yeah more will come from this but what i like is that this is generating a deeper conversation that we really need to have let me know your thoughts in the comment section and i'll speak to you guys in my next video